Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Merrick here. I'm back with another daily puzzle video of the series, and this is day 167 of posting chess puzzles every day for a year. So this one is Black to Moo. White played King H3. So please pause the video here and think about what you are going to do, and leave a comment if you think you got it right. Okay, so Queen G7 is White's threat, obviously. That is made in one. And how can we stop? Well, our first idea might be to discover a check with e5 check, but after bishop takes c8, the unstoppable threat of queen g7 checkmate is unpreventable. So we have to sacrifice our queen somewhere. Queen b2, queen c3, or queen d4. Because these are the only squares which cover g7. Now, how do we decide which square to go to? Well, as we noticed before, we had this discovered check on the white queen. So which square would be the most logical? Queen d4, that's right. Queen d4, queen takes d4, e5 check, checking the king and attacking the queen. White has no choice but to take, and we take on d4. We are up two rooks for one bishop, and we have a bunch of pawns as well. So we are just completely waiting in this position. And the other queen moves, I think they are better, but they are not winning. Queen c3, queen takes c3. And how do we stop checkmate? We play d4, attacking the queen. And this was my original plan, because after queen takes d4, we can play e5 check with the same kind of idea as queen d4. But white has queen f3, and I thought in this position, I probably have to play like knight d5 here to protect against uh, knight uh, queen f6. And probably bishop c4, and I'm not sure what I would play here. f6 is probably a good idea. After bishop takes, there's f takes g5. And I thought, well, I could probably play this position as black. Like, we can probably press for advantage if here a rook takes. And I thought, like, yeah, we, we could probably win this position. And so that's why queen d4 wasn't my first idea. But queen d4 is clearly much better than queen c3. And queen b2 is just horrible. Because after queen takes, it's the same idea. We play d4, but I think this time, oh, this time, I think black and white can just take on c8. And then if takes with a rook, we take on b6. And if takes with a knight, we just play queen takes d4. And white is basically winning. So, yeah. Queen c, queen b2 is bad. Queen c3 is around equal. Queen d4 is completely winning for black. So, those three decisions basically are game makers. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this puzzle. If you found it informative, feel free to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Without further ado, thank you for watching and see you in the day 168.